All right, so uh, I recently bought a new laptop and I was about to install HP tuners on it. And it occurred to me that this might be a good time to make a video, um, not just how to install HP tuners, but how to install two different versions of HP tuners on the same computer. Uh, the reason I do this is I've had several issues with the HP tuners version uh, 3.4 uh, scanner okay now I've not tried 3.6 yet but um, so I've been I'm, I'm still using the HP tuners version 2.24 scanner but I'm using the HP tuners version 3.4 editor and the reason I'm using the editor is because it has a lot of features that I've outlined in some of my other videos that version 2.24 does not have now what I'm going to show you today is how to install HP Tuners uh, 224 and HP Tuners 3.4 on the same computer so that you can run them not simultaneously, although you could run them simultaneously, but so you could do uh, like I do, you could run the, um, the scanner to scan your vehicle and use a different version of the editor to make your adjustments. I hope this is showing up okay. The way I'm having to do this, I still don't have screen capture software, so um, I've just set my camera on a tripod in front of my new laptop. All right, so uh, the first thing you need, of course, is you need your different versions of HP Tuner. Uh, hopefully you can see what I've got going on here. I've got version 224 and version 3.4. Uh, I always keep my previous downloads that way if I ever want to roll back I can because on the HP tuners site once you uh, once they come out with a new version they phase out the old version you can no longer download it now the first thing the most important thing about this is you have to install the earlier version first if you install the earlier or, uh, if you install a later version first like if you try to install 3.4 uh, it will not let you install 224 after that so we're going to install 224 first so you know basic pr procedure here you just click on it I'll go over here to next click on next yes I accept the terms hit next and you know it tells you where it's putting it um, you don't want to change anything there just hit next and install let your computer install the software. If you're using Windows 10, of course, you've got to OK it to install. All right, that simple. HP Tuners 224 has been installed. Now, here's where, you know, it, it, we're going to kind of vary. What you want to do now is you want to open up your Windows C drive go down to program files 86 and you can see now I've already done this I actually we're gonna delete this I started doing this before and then I thought ah this is a good good time for a video so I uninstalled and went back now if you notice here you've got a HP tuners folder and you know it's got your editor or your scanner in it and here's what we gotta do real simple guys go to your HP tuners folder that it just created you hit rename and we're gonna name that folder HP tuners to oh sorry 2.24 or whatever your version is and hit enter all right so now that's that's your HP tuners version 224 X off that now you're going to go in here and go to your version 3.4, 3.6, whatever. Do the same thing. Now what renaming that folder did is it's going to allow the later version to install. And since you renamed the original folder, it's going to create a whole new folder to install a later version instead of overriding the folder or the version that you already had. See? Now it's creating a whole new HP Tuners folder. So we're going to let that install. This is version 3.4. 
Yes. Alright. Love my new laptop, by the way. Really fast. Not too happy with the screen, the uh, picture of it. Uh, it is a cheaper laptop, but it's it's got good guts. <laughs> just a really crappy monitor, but that's okay. I just bought it to use for tuning. So, oh, all right. So once that's installed, come back up here. Go back to your C drive. Go back to your program files dash eighty six, and if you can see what we got here, now we've got our first one we installed two two four, and then it created a second folder. So we're going to rename that folder HP Tuners 3.4. All right, now from there, we need shortcuts for these. So we're going to open 224. And we're just going to right click on our VCM editor exe file and hit send to desktop create shortcut. We'll do the same thing for the scanner. Send to desktop, create shortcut. We'll reduce this screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename this VCM Editor 2.24. And our VCM Scanner, same thing. We'll rename it. VCM scanner 2.24 okay so I like to move my my shortcuts over here to the right side of the screen that I use for tuning this is a brand new laptop guys so we're we're doing all this fresh all right then we'll open this back up back up go to our HP tuners 3.4 and same thing send to desktop shortcut send to desktop shortcut now you can X off of this and now we're renaming this one of course, editor 3.4 and scanner rename VCM scanner 3.4. All right, then we'll move this over here with our others. Sorry, getting used to this. I've been using a uh, a little netbook to tune and the reason I bought this is because the netbook uh, actually filled up and I didn't have room for any more tunes or anything so uh, I had to buy a new laptop and I'm you know this laptop's quite a bit larger than what I'm used to so you don't have to excuse me I'm trying to get used to the the larger touchpad all right now just to show you you can see here I hope you can see the difference uh, the logos are different, you know. This is your version 224, and see the lightning bolts a little different for version 34. Same with the wrenches; they're slightly different. But um, just to show you, here's a VCM editor 224. We're opening it for the first time, okay? And we'll shrink that, move it over, and we'll open VCM editor 3.4. have no idea why that wanted to open that but okay but there you go guys running two different versions of uh, HP tuners on the same computer hey guys well if this video has been helpful uh, like share and if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on bad luck garage